Hello and welcome to my Minvo Review, a software that allows you to turn shorts into videos or simply caption shorts. At the time of creating this, they currently have a lifetime deal, so I will leave that link down below in the description. And if you click that, you can get all the details for it. I don't want to talk too much about the pricing because eventually it's going to change and I don't want to confuse you. So that will be down there for reference. Nevertheless, allow me to give you a very quick walkthrough and overview of how this software works and of course how it can help you out. As long as you can click your mouse a few times and wait a little bit for it to render, you're going to be good to go. So, so what would we like to do here? Overall, let's turn a short into a video. So let's click right here. And what I'm going to do is you can either get a video straight from YouTube if you want. You have sample videos, but I'm just going to go to upload since I have one on my computer right now. All right, so we have how to read a book in under 10 minutes. So like I said, when you upload it, there's gonna be some time for it to upload. And of course, once you get going, it's gonna take a little bit of time for it to render. So as long as you can wait a little bit for that, plus what you can do once it does get rendering, it literally tells you, it will send you an email when it's done so you don't have to wait around too long for it. So once this is done, I'll get back to you and we'll follow along with the steps. All right, so about your brand, what are your brand's name, logo, and default language? So for this, let's put in your brand, whatever it's going to be. I'm just going to do Marketing Island. I have a logo here that I'm going to quickly upload. Okay, it'd probably be better if it was transparent, but that's just the one I had at the time. For this, we have preferences, uh, auto frame the cameras on speakers. We can keep that on so it kind of centers or like focuses more. Because for example, if you have a YouTube video, it's going to be a horizontal video and when it transfers it to a vertical you at least want to have the speaker kind of being in the center of it instead of looking at the left of the video which wouldn't make sense so magic emojis you can auto add emojis relevant to the moment that's fine uh, magic media if you want to auto add b-roll relevant to the moment i guess we'll keep that off and magic cut auto cut filler words and silences which is going to be helpful because if you're like me and sometimes you know you put fillers in there and you're like um or thinking or like there's too much of a gap in between that's going to help you with that Nevertheless, the video is still processing. Let's click on continue and go to the next section. All right, so the AI is in progress. Please wait five to seven minutes. You can safely leave this page. We'll send you an email when complete. So you can do that if you want, but aside from that, I'm gonna wait here. Once it is done, we will get to the good stuff. We can actually take a look at the shorts they created, and more importantly, we can edit them to our liking. So I will be back when this is done. All right, so here we are. The clips have been created. There's going to be three of them, as we can see here. And what we'll do, I'll just go play one very quickly and then uh, we can go from there. Just kind of give you an idea of what it looks and sounds like. So that's good, okay? So what you want to do pretty much, the reason why I say 10 minutes is that you're going to extract all of the golden nuggets out of the book. And the cool thing about this is that once you figure out how to do it, you can go to your local library, you can go to your local bookstore, you can go to, uh, Oh, I think they're closed down. You can go to, uh, was it Borders of Books? Whatever it's going to be, wherever has a lot of books and try this out, okay? You're gonna be like Neo from the Matrix who's like, whoa, I know Kung Fu, you know what I mean? Okay, enough Matrix, Matrix, Matrix for that. So let's say we like this one, but say there's some parts that we wanna edit. Obviously there's the edit section, there's trim, and once we're done, if, it, if we like it how it is, we can just click on download. But let's go to edit right here. All right, so here we are in the editor and there's a lot of things going on, which is actually kind of good, but probably to make your life the easiest when it comes to this is that highlighting a lot of the words or phrases that you want to either change around or remove will be pretty good for you. So for example, we have, so that's good. Do we really need that in the beginning? Probably not. So if we highlight this right here, you'll notice we can do add overlay, we can cut or fix typo. So for example, if you have your last name in there, good chance it might not spell it properly. Like mine's Canzanella. I don't think any AIs ever do, but if yours is like Smith, probably a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about that. Nevertheless, there can be some typos in there. So let's just say if we wanted to do that, we can do that, but we don't need so that's good right in the beginning. So let's cut that out. So just like that, it's gonna be removed. So when we actually hit play, it's gonna start, so what you wanna do, or okay, so, so what you wanna do. You so that's a great way of actually cutting that out. I think that's probably one of the best ways. You'll notice there's gonna be gaps here. This is gonna be a lot of times where there's like these ands or you don't need them, perhaps some ums or other things like that that are just removed because you don't necessarily need it. So it might still have and there, but it's gonna remove that gap of time that we talked about previously where say if you do and, and then you sit there and you think about it or you do um and there's that blank dead space it'll remove that for you so let's hit play here you want to do pretty much reason why i say 10 minutes all right so it kept going and there wasn't any of that waiting here so that's always a good thing and what else do we have here so neo from the matrix i know kung fu <laughs> you know what i mean for example here's another one you know what i mean we don't have to have that in there right so let me just click on there better there we go and we can cut Perfect. So 
Let's just go here and we'll hit play. Okay, you're gonna be like Neo from the Matrix who's like, whoa, I know Kung Fu. What okay, you wanna buffering. do- There we go. So you'll notice how it cut out on that section, which is good. So it, it makes it pretty simple overall when it comes to changing it around and editing it, which is a good thing. And of course, if you wanna save it, what you can do is go right here and do simply Control S or just click on the save button. Okay, so now we can actually hit back and you're gonna notice that we have a much shorter video. We have some of the things removed. I'm not gonna play it all, but in the beginning, remember it said like, okay, so that's cool, but that shouldn't be here. So it should start right off there. Okay, so what you wanna do pretty much, the reason why I say 10 minutes is that you're- Here we go. So it starts off with, here's what you need to do and so on and so forth. Let's take a look at another one. So efficient skim reading for info. So here we are. So what you can actually do is go to these specific chapters, skim read like the first page, because what that's gonna allow you to do is to get the main aspect out of it. Like I said, these are already giving you the main. All right, cool. So once again, let's continue editing. So that's actually a really good one. That's like the main part of this video where uh, reading a book in 10 minutes, you're pretty much going through, taking a look at the chapters. And usually the first section on the first page of the chapter gives away what everything is about and then everything else will back it up. Obviously you can't do this for every book, but I've noticed that this works for a lot of them. This is how you can really get a lot of the golden nuggets out of there, the main ideas, and then roll with it. So let's do continue editing one more time. All right, so we could probably remove the first part of this, right? since it started off in a different section uh, and pretty much skim read like the first page. Don't have to have like in there. There we go, skim read first page, that's fine because that's what's going to allow you to get the main aspect out of it. Like I said, these are always going to be, when you go to the first one, you're gonna be able to extract that quickly. And I have a little bit of repetition here. So let's say we want to remove a lot of this. And we do have a lot of repetition here. So what I'm gonna do is start here and go to like this aspects here. I'm gonna cut that aspect. Then I'm gonna go here and let's say do this one. Okay, so a lot of that was repetition. So this is going to be what you wanna do, get the main points. There are gonna be some good books. There's some that you wanna read it. I understand I have a lot of them. Okay, so let's just say we extracted a lot of that. Let's say we wanna save it and let's go back here and let's go back. So this should start off and pretty much skim read first page because that's what's gonna allow you so on and so forth. Okay, let's go back. Pretty much skim read first page because what that's gonna allow you to do is to get the main aspect out of it. So like I said, this is good when you wanna get the main points. There are going to be some books that are just okay, so, so damn good. Okay, so we had good. cut that one out, which is good. And like I said, there's gonna be some other aspects you can use here. You have portrait, landscape, square. You know, I, I would keep it on this one. Background music in case you wanna change that around. There are gonna be some captions that you can edit around, but you're gonna to have to do click edit on any moment for the more of the caption styling, like you're not gonna be able to see them here. And of course, caption animation depends on if you want it to pop, if you want it to slide, if you want it to fade, just a little bit extra when it comes to that overall. Last but not least is gonna be simply downloading the clip once you have it. And all in all, that's a very quick review and overview of Minvo. It pretty much works exactly as going to be described. I think it's pretty easy to use overall. Like I said, it's a few clicks and a few minutes of waiting in terms of the uploading and the rendering. Might take a little while to get used to their editor overall. Like sometimes I go to highlight something and it doesn't always highlight. So I have to do less, cut it, and then move on and do the next one. But I like the fact that you can cut and trim a lot of the clip, therefore taking only the best aspects of it. And then of course, turning that into your most powerful clip that you can use as a short. Nevertheless, I would recommend checking this out, especially for the fact if you want to turn some videos into shorts and do it at a great deal, given the fact that this currently has a lifetime deal going on. Like I said previously, I don't want to talk about the pricing because that lifetime deal is eventually going to end. So if you do want to check the Minvo lifetime deal out, I will leave my link down below in the description for you. That should just about do it when it comes to this Minvo review and demo. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this software.